Hi, how's it going guys? So today I'm playing the Golf Club 2019. I'm quite new to this game, so I would need you guys to help me along and provide some advice. I'm quite lousy at putting and just to let you all know, I'm playing this game on very easy settings. So you might see that you know the scores are quite different. So here we go. You can go with the driver since it's quite a straight path. No, kinds of possibilities ahead here, folks. Looking forward to it. Who appears to be heading for the fairway here? Actually, do you all know how how much impact does the wind has? on the ball because it's like you know i can't really tell sometimes it's six miles sometimes it's three miles but it doesn't seem to affect the path that much in certain cases but sometimes it does so i'm not quite sure it's quite to, it's quite hard to tell also because my swings sometimes i'm it's not very straight also Okay, and hitting this par five and two, that's some fine club work out there. I suppose there's not much. Okay, so there are, there's some slope towards the left at the beginning. So I suppose we need to curve a little to the right. And there's a hump that's leading up. So maybe more sh more power I suppose. Okay. I think this will do. Okay. okay this was quite a difficult part. And this yeah. is for birdie. Okay, it's quite a it seems like the path, if there is any slope, minimal. So maybe we can try to hit it a bit harder. Ah, that was very close. I think the slope didn't really make a difference, like, you know, the initially. So this is the issue that I'm having. I can't really tell, you know, how to account for the slope. When it comes to putting. And now let's see what the second hole has in store. Should should you look at it at the? Do you look at it in in total, like you know, all the boxes, or should you look at it at the start or at the or near the hole? Yeah. So let's see. I think we can go with the driver here. And this is looking fairway bound. Okay, at about 145 yards left. Okay. And this one's heading oh. towards the No, it's the not green. bad. Okay, and he's on the green now. This one's about seven feet away. Okay, this is I suppose we can hit straight. For the birdie. And after that hole, he is moving up on the leaderboard. And now the third hole to you. The par three course. Okay, this is fine, I suppose. Yeah, the shot's looking pretty good. Setting up about 12 feet away. Okay, so slope is going to the left. I need to adjust for it. Suppose this is enough. Yes. And that one will drop. 
And after that one, two under for the day. Awesome. And now the fourth hole. It's quite relaxing, isn't it? To play this game. Like, the sound of nature and everything. And then compared to games like FIFA and NBA, which is like very exciting and agitating, you know, this game is, I don't know, I prefer this game more. It's relaxing. Nice to play after, uh, after the end of the very long day. Okay, so hopefully I don't hit into the sand bunker. Okay, this one's looking pretty good. Okay, so the wind is, is actually quite strong right now, so okay, let's see, maybe I adjust for it a little to the right. Going with the 8 iron. And I think you'll like that. And this putt's for birdie. Okay. Oh my god, that was close. I that one was gonna be in. And for the par. Let's hope this goes in. Nice. Almost on the edge. And after that one, he's gonna share. If I hit a little too hard, you will have gone right past the hole. Okay, and here is the fifth hole. Can go with the driver. Good. Well, this one's questionable as to where it's going to end up. Oh, shit. Uh, so, this is the part that, that I also have questions about. Like the stunts. Punch, pitch, normal. I'm not quite fresh. I'm not quite sure how this works or so because I'm not really a golfer. Yes. Maybe. Okay, that was not so bad. Fifteen feet away here. Okay. So it seems like the slope is going towards the left. And it's quite fast though, so the line seems to be moving quite fast out, so I think we need to adjust a bit more, I suppose. Okay, that was close. So close. Yeah, we're about three feet away here. And that one will drop for power. And after that one, nothing's changing here. He's still tied for first. And setting up for the par 5 hole. Well, so far so good for this one. Okay. Uh, we can go with the driver. I suppose we can, right? I mean the error, I mean there's a small chance that we will get into the bunker, so I guess that's fine. It's a small stand bunker anyway.
That was close. Yeah, let's put the save par. Let's hope this goes in. Ah. And that one will drop. And he will fall out of first place after that one. Oh no. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, he's not going to like that. And let's see what the seventh hole has in store today. Hmm. So it's like a. This golf course is quite. Like it's curved. Ah, that was quite a. That's quite a bad spot. I think if it's eighty three percent, I suppose we need to go further. We need to hit a little bit more, right? I think this is enough. Ah, okay. Thank God it didn't go into the sand. I think we just need to get. As close to the hole as possible. I don't think we can do a hole in one from here. Oh, that was close. That's about a few feet from the cup. Good save, though. And after that one, sitting at two under four of the day, and is currently tied for second place on the leaderboard. Okay, so the wind is like coming towards like the left. But do I have to account for it? Because I don't want to go into the sand. I just keep it here, just to be safe. Going with the five wood. And I think he will like that. And this for the birdie. This is quite a difficult birdie. It's like an upward slope. I think I need a little bit more strength to go through. Okay. A little bit too much. Just doesn't want to try. Ah. I think this is the first bogey that we are going to have. And about nine feet away here. And the boat pot will drop. Well, looks like he moved down on the leaderboard after that one. And the wind definitely could be a factor on this one. Let's see how this tee shot goes. And uh, nicely done. Looking like we'll have some fairway here. put a bit too much club on this one I think that one will play on the green now and this for the birdie okay seems like there's a steep slope at the beginning so maybe I can off a little we can do the test run we can do the practice swing uh a preview okay i think that's fine well we need to oh uh, oh uh, 
啊，等我声音啦。And for the par, and the putt will drop. And Luke, what are you seeing out there? We're heading into the final stretch of this event. Curious as to your thoughts. Two strokes off the lead, John. That's what he's facing as he heads down the stretch today. I can't wait to see how this one finishes. Thanks, Luke. And now we'll get back to the action. I'm just wondering, what does you know? How the how do you use draw and draw and fade, low loft and high loft? Like, do you use that to account for the wind? Like, if you use draw, I use I tried using draw before, like moving to the left, and the ball goes left. And if I will, but can't you just like turn your body, turn the angle? Does it make any difference? Like, what is the difference between these two? If y'all know what's the difference, please please leave a comment down below. I'm sure, this is gonna land in the fairway here. Ooh, looks like he's going through the. Okay, that was quite lucky. Here. And he's probably gonna like that. And about two hundred thirty-five yards to go. Mm. Going with the three wood. Oh looks shit! Looks like this might be heading for some trouble. Am I shooting from there? That one's gonna miss the green. And I would wager oh my God. it has something to do with that. That was a good save. I thought it was going to hit the rocks. Fifteen feet. Oh, that was close. And tapping in for par. And after that hole, one under for the day. And he is also in a tie. I'm doing very badly. On the leaderboard. And moving on to the eleventh hole. Oh, such a nice view. There's a par three course. Okay. It looks like a seven iron. Yeah, so it seems like the wind has shaped where it's go where it has gone in this case. With a yeah. fair amount of distance to make up to get that. I nice suppose like hole. I had to like you know adjust my angle. That was, oh my god. And from that length, this is the furthest I have made. Feet, feet to accomplish. Oh my god, I'm getting better. On the leaderboard after that hole. And team off on this par four. I think in, initially I used to get like over twenty-two. Which was quite bad on easy settings. You can go with a firewood I suppose. Or the tree wood. Yeah, this would be good. Oh, this is a tough call. Could be rough. Could be fairway. Ah. Uh. Okay, it's not so bad. We just need to get par. That's all we need. Okay, that was too far. Do I have like adjust to a higher loft in that in that situation?
Looking like nine feet to the cup. Ah, oh, that was a good save. For the bogey. And after that one, he's uh, unfortunately going to be moving down in the standings. I think that's the best results I ever had. It's like I used to get a lot of bogeys, double bogeys. Ah, oh, that was a. This is a bad spot to be in. Not enough club on that one. Not a bad spot. This one looks about uh, four feet. And that putt drops on in for par. And staying right there in fifth place after that hole. Okay. And now the 14th hole. It's looking pretty good so far. From the 150 yard marker. And here's an eight iron. Ah, that was so close. We'll like that. I suppose, okay, so I'm not quite sure. You know, should I be going for a low loft or high loft? I mean, the wind, do I have to account for the wind? Maybe we fade to the right. And since we are quite far away from the flag, we can go for a little bit of low loft to carry it forward. Okay, that's not bad, that's not bad. And this putt to save par. Uh. Oh fuck! Oh, that was close. And this one is for the bogey. And um, take a look at the I shouldn't be making simple mistakes like this. And that's gonna put him up to even par. And he's also tied for tenth. Oh God, I went all the way to the bottom. Setting up now on the 15th tee. This is good enough. I don't think we'll find some fairway here. And about a buck ten to the pin from here. And I think this shot might, oh. have, might have a bit too much club. Well, it turns out that one's safely on. This one's right around eight feet. Mm. Hey, that's nice. That nice. For birdie. And after that hole, one under for the day. Mm. He's currently tied for fourth up on the leaderboard. Is it even fourth since everybody is under one? It's looking like it's heading into the fairway. And about 150 yards to the pin. Just I could have like pull back a bit longer to add, add, to add additional power to it. And 
this putt is essential for saving par. Mm, nice. And after that, hold one under for the day. And he's currently tied for fourth place on the leaderboard. And now setting up for the next par four hole. Can go viral all the way. Let's let's just go for it man. Take the risk. Yeah, that was not so bad after all. Okay, that was very close. I got an eagle, I suppose. One go. Now I'm back to the top. Yes. Tied for third place on the leaderboard. And as he tees off here on the 18th hole, he is only two strokes off the lead. Let's see what happens. Well, this one's looking like it's in the fairway. And from 165 yards out. And going with the seven iron on this one. Oh, that was bad. A bit too much club for this one. Oh, that was a bit too far. And this next pot for a 69 on the final round. If this thing the ball. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice save. And as his round comes to an end, he's wound up in pretty good shape out hmm. there today, Luke. That's not bad. That's the highest I've gone. So thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe down below. And if you have, have any advice for me, please leave a comment down below as well.